In this video, we'll be sharing how you can use Carto Workflows to streamline your spatial analysis pipelines. Workflows is a low-code visual interface tool which allows you to run and iterate multi-step analysis in an intuitive drag-and-drop environment. Let's imagine we're a telco operator providing a broad range of digital services. We're about to launch a new promotional offer to our existing subscribers consisting of a mobile, digital TV and broadband package. The aim of this is to increase and diversify subscription revenues as well as help with customer retention. Amy works our spatial analysis team. She's been tasked with optimising promotional marketing spend for the new offer with campaign performance based on the total net new server subscribers coming from the existing customer base. First, Amy sets up a new workflow and locates the customer location data under the sources panel before dragging it onto the canvas. For each stage of the workflow, we can open the preview panel at the bottom of the screen and explore each step of our workflow in tabular and map form. A great way to investigate the spatial distribution of data is to calculate hotspots. To be able to do that, Amy first needs to convert the data into a continuous grid with a variable which contains the number of customers in each cell. We'll be doing this using a series of components. These are the analytical and processing tools which will be the building blocks of your workflows. Components can be found to the left of the window. The first component Amy needs is H3 from GeoPoint, which converts each input location into a hexagonal H3 grid cell. Next, to calculate the number of customers in each cell, Amy uses the group by component, grouping by the H3 ID and then including a count variable. Workflows can be run at any stage and only the non-run or edited components will be processed in a run, not the entire pipeline. You can see that the components turn green when you complete with the number of output features displayed beneath, ideal for checking your work as you move through the pipeline. You can also preview the results of any component as a table or on a map. And we can see that Amy's H3 grid has generated so she's ready to calculate hotspots. For this, She'll use the getter sword component, specifying the value column as the customer count, and changing the kernel function to Gaussian. Once that's complete, Amy uses a spatial filter to only retain statistically significant clusters. Let's explore her results. Moving into Carto Builder, Amy can explore the spatial distribution of our existing customer base. She can see that our strongest hotspots are around downtown Los Angeles, as well as in nearby hubs such as Glendale and Culver City. But what Amy really needs to know is which out-of-home advertising assets, which you can see as blue points on the map, fall within these hotspots. For that, she'll need to head back to workflows. For the final piece of this analysis, Amy drops the out-of-home asset locations onto the workflows canvas. Like before, she uses the H3 from GeoPoint component to convert these locations into H3 cells, making sure to use the same grid resolution as before. Next, she uses a join component to join this new H3 layer to the hotspot layer she created earlier. By running subsequent order and limit components, Amy is able to extract the top 50 advertising locations for the new digital offer. Finally, she connects a sender's email component, meaning that any time this workflow is run, her marketing colleagues will be automatically notified with the list of these assets and use this list to activate the advertising campaign.